The military has officially diagnosed roughly 78,000 cases of PTSD among Iraq and Afghanistan vets. But the Department of Veteran Affairs say the real number is closer to 800,000. They give me pills at the VA. Pills, pills, pills to sleep, pills to control anxiety. It's estimated that more than 20 vets commit suicide every day. I buried my best friend about a year ago. There, I really did have some issues. I ended up being hospitalized. Sometimes things just work out. A dog needs a home, a person needs a special friend, and a program brings them together. Highlighting the Cause of War program. One organization is working to combat this issue by rescuing and training dogs to help our soldiers recover. Here to talk about how the Paws of War program is saving lives. She was about to get put down when you got her. Yeah, she was. They are coming from kill shelters, war-torn areas like Afghanistan. So, so really helping these dogs get a second lease on life as well. Growing up, I had a German Shepherd. She was a great part of my life. I know it might not be possible, but I sure hope you can find one. Boy, do I miss her. He wants us to find another shepherd. It's a little complicated because we don't use breeders, we don't buy puppies from puppy stores, we don't support puppy mills. We are all about rescue. Do you think you can find this dog? Well, she's beautiful. It's not impossible. So I have to find a rescued shepherd that A, looks maybe a little bit like his beloved dog and B will qualify for our Paws of War program. I want to find this dog for him. came from New York for this dog. So why would you put her to sleep? Five days, state law. Not done five days. I don't know how any animals get adopted out of there. It's really sad. I'm glad I was able to take one. Hi, I have some great news. I have somebody here that's ready to meet you. Her name is Duchess and she is going to be perfect. Nothing makes me feel better than helping one of our veterans get a little bit of joy back in their life. Lauren is our dog trainer. Pet her, praise her. Good job. The dog has to make the veteran comfortable. Start walking again, you can pick everything up, put it in your left hand. She's brought me out of my shell. She's, she's brought me out of my funk. You know, it's, I, I used to be isolated and now because she's known to people, I'm known to people. And you see how comfortable he is with the dog um, and see how uh, they get along together. When another trainer doesn't show up, she can blow her top. And he was supposed to come and do a follow-up training and he doesn't show up. I'm sorry, like, I, don't, I don't know what to say. The only excuse I, I would have accepted is if you were in the hospital yesterday. Were you in the hospital? No. Then, then what the fuck? Where have you been? I'm sorry. You can't even go a half an hour away, really? I guess not. Uh, I guess not then. I can't trust you with anything. That's Jerry is Lauren's husband and they work great together, but if he's not right on point or if he's late for something, she will let him have it. I'm from New York, okay, so let's not do no Jersey. <laughs> My name is Jerry. I'm a uh, Desert Storm veteran. These animals actually help them get out in civilian life. He will go out of his way for anybody. I dedicate my time to uh, you know, to helping out other veterans. He knows exactly what they're going through. You, you don't have to suffer alone. They're an outstanding asset to these soldiers. If it wasn't for my dog, Tommy, I don't know if I would be here today. His dog, Tommy, literally is his life-saving force. 
he has become a key interventionist for our Pause of War program. Come on, Lonnie, open the door, man. I'm here first to, to get him some help. He had applied for a dog, and we realized that uh, he's not ready. So many people care about you, Lonnie. And again, I've been where you're at. What I'm trying to get Lonnie to do is to get into this rehab, not just for him, for his family, and for the dog that he will receive from us when he's ready. I'm a great mixer in the martial arts. I was a light heavyweight champion, and I fought full contact matches, both in the ring and underground, bare knuckle. So I don't take a lot of bullshit from anybody. We deliver dogs personally to Oklahoma, Kentucky, we'll go anywhere. He's extremely opinionated, a little obstinate. The dogs have personalities, and so do the veterans, of course. We want to match the personality of the animal to the veteran and the veteran to the animal. And we will do everything we can to help that man and his family. We are one big family, and if there's anything anybody needs, they, they know who to call, and they do call every day.